Hi everyone, this is the first run of University of Flame, and here on UniTV we have only the hottest, the funniest, and the most recent university news for the next five minutes. This is University of Flame, let's go! Today marks 91 days until the opening ceremony of the 27th Summer University. So during these remaining days, you will see 91 short episodes covering the greatest event ever held in Kazan since the days of its millennium. Want to know more? Here you are! Every single day, our new video about the Summer University will be released both on YouTube and UniTV channel. Watch our episodes and you will know where, how and at what price you can buy tickets for university competitions, what bonuses our sportsmen will get for winning, what are university medals really made of and what to reply to a foreigner if everything you can say in English is just number is not available at the moment. Still not enough, huh? Take that! 27 sport master classes from the best coaches and top sportsmen covering all 27 sports included in Kazan 2013 sports program get to know the insides of each sport at first hand. And our fearless TV presenters are ready to sacrifice their own bodies to show you guys the real difference between a professional sportsman and an amateur. Moreover, each Sunday we are crossing the final straight, a weekly overall program covering all the sports and sports-related university events that took place during the past week. What? You want to know when we finally start showing you anything? Okay, as you already know, we are not about minor things at all, so today we will show you a short video about the largest and the most remarkable university venue, the grand opening stadium, Kazan Arena. 14 months faster than the major venue of Olympic Games in China. That's the pace of construction of the new arena, which will be holding the opening ceremony of Kazan Summer University. The total weight of the steelworks used for construction equals to the weight of 113 TU-154 aircrafts. And if we grow a football pitch with all the structural concrete being used, the height of the pitch will increase by 14 meters. But that's just from the outside. Kazan Arena will be unique inside as well. 230 food courts, a fitness center, a restaurant, a sports bar, a museum of retro cars and, of course, a museum of football club Rubin will be located inside the stadium. Just to provide some proofs, we decided to visit the stadium ourselves and meet one of the stadium's manager, Vadim Andreev, operating officer of Kazan Arena. And the first thing we'd like to know is numbers. Numbers at the new stadium, like capacity and other things. This stadium capacity is 45,000 seats. Total amount of parking places is 3,000. The total area of the stadium is 32 HA. The media facade occupies an area of 4,000 square meters, including 2,000 square meters in HD quality. We all know that Kazan will host other sports events shortly, besides from the University Yard. The World Aquatics Championships will be held here in 2015 and World Football Cup in 2018. Will the stadium be redesigned or rebuilt somehow? Two additional swimming pools will be assembled at the stadium to host the 2015 World Aquatics Championships. After the championships, they will be dismantled, and a new turf will be laid for the upcoming matches of the Russian League, as well as matches of the Russian national team and FIFA World Football Cup. Okay, our last question for today. Actually, the most thrilling question for all football club Rubin fans. When will their favorite team hold their first match here at Kazan Arena? We are planning to host the first football match here at the end of October, as the dismantlement of constructions used for the opening and closing ceremonies will be finished. We will hold the first match of FC Rubin here on the 20th or 30th of October. Well, this was Vadim Andreev in a live broadcast from Kazan Arena. And right now we will show you the full view of the newly built magnificent stadium. And this is just the beginning. The real stuff comes later, just in a few hours on UniTV. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow all the recent news from social networks. Keep warming around University Flame this spring. My name's Alex Chupin. See you soon in our new episode. Goodbye.